This is a re-upload from a different channel, but it fits better here, so we're going to upload it here again. It's about a year old, but it still should be interesting nonetheless. Exciting news in the paleontological community. Two new Spinosaurids have been discovered in the Wessex Formation of the Isle of Wight in the UK. Originally discovered back in 2017, these two new Spinosaurids, Repero venator milneri and Ceratosuchops inferodios, represent some of the oldest Spinosaurid remains discovered thus far. The two animals were described by a team of paleontologists led by the University of Southampton on September 29th of this year. The remains consist of two premaxilla, two brain cases, as well as two eye ridges for both Spinosaurids. The remains of Repero venator also include a partial tail that is fairly articulated. The tail itself consists of 23 complete or partially complete vertebrae and is approximately 12.5 feet in length. Scientists were actually able to determine that these two Spinosaurids were in fact separate genera despite the similar appearance in close proximity to each other by analyzing the interior of their brain cases. On close comparison between the two, it was concluded that they were not merely two individuals of the same species, but rather two separate animals altogether. The overall length of the animals is estimated to be around 7.7 .7 meters or 25.3 feet for Repero venator and around 7.8 meters or 25.6 feet for Ceratosuchops, putting them near the same size as another Spinosaurid, Baryonyx, that was found in a separate formation nearly 38 years prior. Along with Baryonyx, these two new Spinosaurids, as well as Suchomimus, make up a clade known as the Baryonyx hyenae, which is a sister taxon to Spinosaurinae that includes the famous Spinosaurus. Within Baryonyx hyenae, these two new Spinosaurids, despite being discovered closer to Baryonyx, are actually more closely related to the African Suchomimus. This hints that Spinosaurids as a group may have actually originated within Northern Europe. The environment these two animals would have resided in would have been a semi-arid floodplain and would have been similar to the modern-day Machia of the Mediterranean. Conifers would have been the dominant plant in the area, while the ground cover would have consisted mainly of different kinds of ferns. While the tree cover is thought to have been rather thin, the conifers themselves would have been relatively more concentrated around waterways and remaining sparse elsewhere. Ceratosuchops and Repero venator would have shared this environment with an assortment of other fauna. Such fauna would have included a myriad of small reptiles, mammals, and dinosaurs. Reptiles would have included two types of turtles, several lizards, and an assortment of crocodilians, the largest of which, Antiophthalmosuchus, was approximately 13 feet long. As for mammals, as much as three genera are currently classified, with additional fragmentary remains that are currently of indeterminate origin. Ruling the skies of the Wessex Formation would have been the Pterosaurs. Several genera are currently known, the biggest of which would have been Istiodactylus at 5 meters in wingspan. The dinosaurs that inhabited this environment along with the two Spinosaurids would have been animals such as the Iguanodon, the second dinosaur to ever be described, a small relative of the legendary Tyrannosaurus rex known as Eotyrannus, as well as a medium-sized Carcharodontosaur known as Neovenator. The discovery of these two new Spinosaurids, Ceratosuchops and Reparovenator, offers valuable insight into the origin of all Spinosaurids. Thanks to these findings, the true extent of Spinosaurid diversity is also beginning to be fully realized. From the massive Spinosaurus to the split-sailed Ichthyovenator, Spinosaurids are some of the most fascinating dinosaurs to ever live, and the addition of these two new finds only helps confirm that. Who knows what the future truly holds for these most intriguing of dinosaurs. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, it is a year old that this discovery happened a year ago, and we made this video a year ago, but Epoch Now wasn't a thing a year ago, so we uploaded it to a different channel. But it fits better on Epoch Now, so that's why we're uploading it here. Of course, I need to thank Spino Dragon for helping me edit and uh, research this video and the Dinosaur Hunter for the artwork and the thumbnail. Um, additionally, uh, make sure you stick around for, because in a week or two, we will have that Mapusaurus video uploaded. Uh, it's been a long time coming to get that video uploaded because we procrastinated a lot on it, but don't worry, it is coming, and we will have more content for you in the future. Uh, with that out of the way, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the Mapusaurus video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.